it's a Hobby Lobby shop with me, y'all. Keep watching. I'm Brandy, and this is Making It My Own DIYs. Today is the day we're not going to do necessarily a shop with me, but we're going to do a window shop with me. How about that? I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby. I have not been there since um, probably May, so I want to see if they have any fall things out. I'm really excited to go in there and look for inspiration, and you know, I realize it's probably not to the point where they've got any discounts on the items yet. However, you can go in there and get inspiration. You can take your phone in there and you can snap pictures of the things that you like and the things that you think you might want to try to duplicate. So I'm going to take a little drive here and then we'll be at the store and I'll let you see what I am seeing. I was pleasantly surprised to see that there is a lot of fall out. Still a lot of stuff to be put out, but there's a lot of fall. And this is very farmhouse looking to me. Got some rustic in there, a variety of picks and pumpkins and pictures. And you see that thankful and blessed? You can get that at Dollar Tree. Yep. There's a lot of hand soaps and some turkeys. You will not be seeing in this video all of the prices uh, or a steady hand or a lot of commentary on individual things because this is the first time I've done a shop with me like this and it's more like we are window shopping together if you will. So just look at these items the same way I look at the items and just say okay is this something that I want to spend the money on now. Do I want to wait until the 30 or 40 percent off sale? Or is this something I can dupe? Maybe from another store or can I make it on my own? See these cute little... These are $20 but I'm telling you there are some really cute little things you can get at Dollar Tree right now in their little Dollar Tree Plus section for $5 that is very similar to these. These are some flameless candles and some of these glass pumpkins. Not really my style, but it's still very, very nice. They're $16.99. This dog I have never seen before. I think he might be new, but he is adorable. All right, there are some beaded garlands, and these are nice. I don't know if these are new or not. But it's a good time when you can get those beads on sale. You can use them on other items. Just cut them off the strand. These are some yard stakes. And some of these shorter little garlands. Bead garlands. There are boxes all over the tops of the shelves that are just full of items. There are boxes in the aisles that are full. So definitely pretty soon if... Uh, enough people like this video. I'll be going back to see what new things they put out. You see some of the scarecrows laying here. And there's cornucopias, lots of little stickers, and the vinyl is really nice. So if you've got a Cricut, $10.99 on those right now. They will go on sale though at some point. I love this. This is like a corn husk fall wreath. Very pretty. Definitely something I can make. There are pumpkin picks in a variety of colors. They are $4.99 or $5. Dollar Tree did have some of those little velvet looking pumpkins on a stake or on the little pick, so you could probably find those there at some point. Lots of pretty ribbon and deco mesh. Some pre-made bows. There are crafting items that are out and being placed out. These are like the mache and the raw wood pieces. 
some more gorgeous garlands. And look at these cute little scarecrows. There's wooden ones and the ones that are plush. Pillowcases and canvases, wood signs. There's some molds in there. Very pretty stuff. You see the blue pumpkin down there? Is that going to be a thing this year with the blue? These are some yard uh, flags in the cotton. You could definitely duplicate something like this for less. These are very pretty. This looks very rustic to me. But for $60, a no. I can make that. Are you getting inspired yet? Do you see anything here that you think you could make? There are some risers, some of the bigger cornucopias in different colors. These boxes. You can see some boxes similar to this or the crates in the spring items that are already on sale for 50% off, so consider getting it over in that section. There are ceramic, glass, and fabric pumpkins being placed out. These are the ones with succulents. They were pretty. Look at the gorgeous little lanterns. These light up marquee pumpkins. I've seen those before and the fall signs here. You can definitely make those with scrap wood. If you see something in here that you would be interested in seeing me do for a lower price, feel free to put it in the comments and I'll be glad to try to do that for you. And I'll give you a shout out. These pumpkins on the bottom, there are some signs similar as these as well at Dollar Tree when they get their supplies out. Got a little rustic glam stuff in here. Pillowcases. These big pumpkins, they have a variety of all sizes of little scarecrows and pumpkins. There are some mats down there, floor mats or little rugs, and this gorgeous big metal pumpkin sign. Nice little fuzzy blankets. Here's another look at some of the wreaths that they have. A little farmhouse thing in the middle. This is very cottagey to me. Love this. Something a little more simple, if you like that. A little neutral look. I like those traditional, beautiful, rich fall colors, though. And there's some smaller picks with pumpkins. And look at these beautiful pieces. And I love this little grassy stuff up top. Pretty. They have some very lush garlands. I had people on the aisle with me, so I couldn't really get a good look at tags. I love this color combo here. Very nice. And of course, beautiful sunflowers. There's some pine cones in here. Look at this one. Wow, that thing is huge. Okay, so over here in the aisles, we have some displays of fall florals if you're enjoying this video i would appreciate a thumbs up it really helps my channel and if you would like to see more if you subscribe and turn on your notification bell you'll be sure not to miss another video the ferns are gorgeous i don't do neutral but i can surely appreciate how beautiful they are with all the dried pieces i'm going to show you how you can save a little money later on in this video making your own pieces now, if you're into fabrics, here's a look at what they have for fall. They have some kind of cartoony stuff, and they have some more traditional, and then they have some beautiful farmhouse also. This one's really pretty with the mixed-in sunflowers. Look at that one. This is nice. It's got some navy blue on it and I see blue and navy blue on quite a few pieces of fabric and the decor so this may be a trend that one's pretty 
maybe that for Thanksgiving. Some wheat. And then some more on the blue. This next one would be really nice, I think, for Halloween, too, with the black and white stripe. And this is just beautiful. It's a black background. And then there's the little gnomes and turkeys. This is very country cottage to me. It says thankful. We've got some solids here in really nice rich colors. Here's an orange and green plaid. And then this one I absolutely love. It's so soft, even with that blue line. Oh, it's just so pretty. And then here's a more traditional look with the cornucopia and the gourds. I love my sunflowers. I've got lots of sunflower videos if that's your style. Here are some leaves. And then trucks and barns. Another cute one for Halloween, I think. This has a big pattern on it. Couldn't see the entire pattern. Scarecrows and trucks on this one. This one is just a simple look. More of a Christmassy vibe, but they have it in here. And another beautiful plaid. It's a flannel, really nice and soft. And then we get into a little bit of the Christmas mixed in there with the fall. Now here are some dried florals. These are in the spring section. These would be perfect for you to use in your fall decor, right? So while they are 50% off and then the sales continue to go down, it would be a good time to pick these up and you can use them in the florals that you make, especially if you like a cottage rustic feel, maybe a farmhouse look also. You can buy these dried florals and very easily put these picks in your decorations. You can put them in a vase or, you know, anything any type of vessel you have, a basket, and then mix them in with your sunflowers, your any type of greenery that you have from the fall foliage, mix them together and save yourself a little bit of money. I'll be showing you more examples of that shortly also. I find things like this at my thrift store often but they're usually put together with other pieces, like maybe somebody did a project for one year and they don't wanna use it again for the next year, so they donate it and they start fresh. Well, I pull those pieces apart, take out what I like, and I use those. It's always worked for me. I always save a lot of money doing that. Um, and I know it's hard to believe. Some of my viewers in the past have questioned the validity of that, whether or not I actually get my beautiful pieces from the thrift store, but I do. I really do. Now these are $19.99. They come in a variety of colors and they're stunning. Definitely a statement piece. Here's some more pieces that are really nice. These little woody pieces in your, on your arrangements and in your wreaths. You don't want to just use the leaves, but you know, using some woody pieces in there really brings out that, that rustic look that I personally love. These ferns, love them. This pick is actually, I think a spring piece maybe. I'm not sure. It could just be a regular staple piece, but if you like to use rich jewel tones, these would be really pretty mixed in there for your fall decor. They have a lot of ribbon and you can use some of the ribbons that they have when they're 50% off that are not marked as fall but you can get them cheaper. So your poly mesh, things like this, consider getting those out of another section of the store. Walk around, see what you can find, because there are a lot of similar items that don't cost that full price, and you can save a lot of money doing it that way. Here's some mesh ribbon. I love to make my wreaths with these types of things. Oh, look at the sunflowers. These beautiful rust-colored hydrangeas. I do believe I have some of those at home. These are not marked as fall, but if you look at the colors over here, you can clearly see, depending on your style, 
that these pieces could be used in your fall decor. $7.99, that's not bad. You get a lot in that pig. So if you have the time, you should definitely wander around your store, the entire store, to see what you can find. You want to save your money wherever you can, but still achieve that high-end look that we all like to have in our homes. I love the little seed pod looking pieces. They're so pretty. Here are some little grasses. Beautiful magnolias that are turning. I love these little fuzzy things. As you can see, they're not marked fall, but they are clearly fall. They would work perfectly in the fall. Beautiful flowers. This is kind of a, I don't know how to explain this color. Kind of a khaki color. Really nice though. I keep seeing these and I think, wow, how beautiful would these be in a fall wedding? Really, really pretty. Again, if you like jewel tones, here are some of the beautiful red and purple pieces that you could use and mix in here and there. Here is that little fuzzy piece in the red. It's kind of a rusty red. Now here's some more fall stuff that's very gorgeous. If maybe you don't want to put things together yourself, for $30, you can buy a bundle that already matches, already coordinates, and put it together yourself. I would, again, wait until you can get it on sale. There's some more dried pieces in there. And then these picks here, very full, lots of pumpkins on there. These are $20. Some more with the corn husk and the wheat. They're so pretty. And I've never seen one like this before. Not sure what this is, but there's a big variety and you even get that green. If you live in the South like me, we get a very late fall. Um, we don't really get that much of a winter. And until that point, we still have a lot of green. So we can definitely have green and our fall colors together. I love these. These little flyaways, they look so beautiful in arrangements, and centerpieces and in wreaths. But again, just be inspired from this because you can definitely go and get things that are similar to it at thrift stores and in the Dollar Tree. So beautiful. I feel like I'm just walking through the fall forest. So gorgeous. I'm looking so much, it's hard for me to remember to stop and to film. $12.99 for those. I won't even try to pronounce that. So what colors are you doing for fall this year? Are you going to do traditional, neutral? Are you going to try some blue this year? Maybe do some jewel tones this year? Are you still going with the red truck theme? Maybe the gnomes? Or are you sticking with the pumpkins? and the sunflowers, or just one or the other. There's some acorn picks up there. Look at these beautiful little things. They're cute. Back to the beautiful fern. This is the most realistic greenery I have ever seen. It is gorgeous. love these and you can definitely get pieces out of your yard or in the woods if you live near the woods I've made my own um, sort of grapevine type wreaths before and uh, they look really nice this is so soft I think it's a pompous grass and then there's some seed pods up there more dried pieces and they come in a variety of colors. And some sticks, or branches. Then 
This is really pretty. And I love it wrapped in the brown paper. This one I like a lot. And it's in the spring collection. So these are over with the summer or spring pieces. They're 50% off right now. These are really nice too. I love these colors and a variety of sizes. These are really pretty grasses too with the little orange on the bottom. So try to think outside of the box. What can you use from spring and summer and carry that over into your maybe late summer or early spring decor? Here's a little bundle. And this is what I do sometimes when I find these thrifted. So you can see the bundle, this is $10. If I get it thrifted, I pay by weight. I just take the little wrapping off of the stems. It's just wrapped with a piece of raffia. I just cut those loose and then you have individual flowers and you can take the ones that look more summery, put them aside and just use the sunflowers. These are really pretty too. Is this Queen Anne's lace? Does anybody know what this is? This is pretty. I love the richness of these oranges. Okay, so over in the spring collection, again, to save money, baskets, you can use those any time of year. It's not specific to a certain time of year. You can make arrangements with these pieces. You can use these to help decorate. How gorgeous would these little stools be as risers for your pumpkins? Really, really cute. Think about that. At half price, you could use these on your porch to decorate or in your house with your pumpkins. And then at Halloween, you can use them to put your jack-o'-lanterns on. You could put blankets in these crates. You know, pretty fall colors. Or set them on the porch and fill them with pumpkins. Now there's a 75% off section. I just thought I would do a quick walkthrough of that. Also for saving money, you can definitely take these pieces and add to them, paint them, uh, cover them with a fabric, cover them with a paper. This could be easily painted over with black to use for some other type of a craft or project. This could be used all year round, maybe in the man cave. A mirror can be used any time of year. These big canvases are easily painted over and your kids could do some artwork on them. Or maybe you see a piece you like that doesn't just scream that it's, you know, for a specific season that you could go ahead and put back as Christmas gifts. Save money and be sure that you check off everybody on your Christmas list. See, a clock, you can use that any time of year. They had a lot of framed art. They had some mixed match um, vases and baskets and mugs. They had some um, wine glasses. They didn't have any greenery in this section, but those are really pretty. There's a basket back there. Some of the uh, superhero decor is down there. It would be cute for a boy's room. Do you have any little superhero fans in your home? You can definitely paint over a lot of this stuff or consider doing Mod Podge. Maybe you want to do a napkin and Mod Podge product, um, project. That would be good here. You can get these pieces cheap. They had a lot of frames that were on clearance as well. If you have a camp, maybe your spouse is a hunter, or you have a son who likes to hunt, there are items in here that would be great for camping. Look at this mug, how cute. Some little tchotchke, little pieces here and there. Okay, some stationery. And then we have a bunch of stickers. This is over in the back corner of the store where they have their clearance section at this store. And there are stickers, a variety of different kinds. There are some paper craft pieces and poster stickers there. They had boxes of yarn that is on clearance, $149 for those. Those are really nice and they had a variety of colors. These would make great gifts if you want to get these and put them back for Christmas. 
Or, you know, it's still summertime. Grab this stuff and give your kids something to do for the end of summer. Lots of tie-dye kits. Some more stickers. And their planners over here. There is some, looks like some glitter glue or glitter paint. 90% off on their graduation pieces. And then some thick yarn. Still not cheap enough for me though. It's $9.99 for that yarn. Um, but yeah, I love this brown. It's really pretty. So if you're interested in this video and you would like to see more, be sure that you give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!